Hello and welcome again to another episode of Let's Go See It. Today we're in Washington DC and we're going to visit Roosevelt Island. At the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what to expect if you decide to go there and visit. The nearest metro stop is the Roslyn metro station and there's a footbridge so you don't have to cross the uh, George Washington Memorial Parkway in order to get to Roosevelt Island. One of the challenges in coming here is that parking is often an issue. It's a very small parking lot and it's usually full. When I got there at 7 o'clock it was empty but by 10 a.m. There was not any parking space. In fact, cars had to circle in order to try to find a parking space. And it's not easy to get out and get back. There is no address for Roosevelt Island, so here are the GPS coordinates. There is a bike rental kiosk at the entrance to Roosevelt Island. However, do not use your credit card to rent a bike because no bikes are allowed on the island. The reason why the bike rental kiosk is there is because people rent bikes and ride to Mount Vernon because it's parallel next to the Mount Vernon Trail. But please, don't rent a bike. There is just one way in and one way out of Roosevelt Island and it's a footbridge that leads uh, from the parking lot to the island. The footbridge is busy and gives you great views of the Potomac River and it's a great place to just watch uh, kayakers and other boaters uh, on the Potomac and a great place to relax. As soon as you get over the footbridge, you'll see a map. It'll give you an idea of the trails that are available on Roosevelt Island. And uh, if you want to go to the center of the island, which is the, uh, the, the hub of the island, it's just a quarter mile, less than a quarter mile, it's a tenth of a mile walk. I was at the island in the winter, and you can see many of the structures uh, don't have uh, water in them, but they're actually designed to have water in them. What you're looking at right now is a, a, a statue of Roosevelt. If you're interested in hiking or running, this is a general condition of the path and what you can hope to expect. Overall, I had a great time being there and I would recommend it. This is one thing I didn't like though. When I got to Theodore Roosevelt Memorial Bridge, it didn't look very pleasing at all. It looked like I'd made a wrong turn. There was a fence with barbed wire. There was graffiti on the bridge. Uh, it just wasn't pleasing at all. As soon as I turned the corner from the bridge, uh, I saw a lot of ducks. There's a little bridge and uh, there were tons of birds. I'm not really a, a bird watcher or, you know, but 
if you are, uh, it's, uh, it's a great place to see a, a large variety of, of birds and it's quite relaxing. Another thing I liked was uh, the footpath. There was a lot of areas where you could stop, you could sit down and just kind of enjoy nature. This is my son, Gabriel. As you can see, he's having a good time. He was running, jumping, throwing rocks. And there's a lot of side trails and we walked down quite a few of them. And this is one of them. And we just found things that were interesting. It would take you to the water's edge where you're able to see, um, you know, uh, parts of the Potomac and the landscape across that you're not able to really see. And also you found a lot of interesting stuff that um, people who had time on their hands decided to put together. If you're thinking about bringing your kids, it's a good call. There were lots of kids there and families, and uh, also a lot of people with their dogs, a lot of, mostly all dogs, and uh, a lot of runners and hikers. So good call if you are thinking about a family event. One other thing I did not like about the trail is that normally when I go on a hiking trail, I like it to be, you know, tranquil and relaxed. What you see right there above is an airplane flying over and the noise is the actual noise. I just killed the music so you can hear it. But it was quite noisy because of A, the airplanes, and then it's quite close to the George Washington Memorial Parkway, so you heard a lot of uh, vehicular traffic as well. The most interesting part of my day was going off of the beaten path. This is just what one of those paths looked like. You can see it's, you know, it's manicured, so it's not too many tripping hazards and it's well worn, so a lot of people do this. But I definitely recommend going off the main path and just kind of seeing what, uh, you know, what, uh, what the woods have, has to offer.